Look at that, guys. We got a big camel here. She's dangerous. gonna make you drink directly from it. No right in your way. mouth. <laughs> right in your mouth. No it's way. going to be gold. Trust me, it's very safe. It's, not, it? not, it's, it's as pure as it can get. Come on, man. Okay. Right in your mouth. So we're gonna drink it right from the, the nipple? Yeah, right. From, they, they would squirt it in Is your mouth. Is that a delicacy? It's tasty? Mazadar. Mazadar. All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James hanging out with my good buddy, Ali. You can check out his Instagram in the description below. And today, we're deep in the outskirts of Islamabad in the twin city of Rawalpindi, and we're going for a full-on street food adventure. Hello, guys. A big hello from the Pindi boys. <laughs> today, we're taking you to the unexplored and never-seen-before side of Rawalpindi in Islamabad, the full-on street tour, the real, cultural, and authentic side of the twin cities. Check it out. Let's check it out. This is amazing. Get ready for four amazing street foods and luxury Pakistani cuisine in Islamabad and Rawalpindi, along with one of the greatest joys on earth, fresh camel milk right from the direct source. You're gonna love this. Let's eat. In Rawalpindi, you see a big contrast compared to Islamabad. Islamabad is quieter, more sleek, modern. Pindi is all history, culture. So in today's episode, you will see a big contrast from a bustling streets of Pindi to a more modern and sleek Islamabad. Awesome. And right up here, we're going for a big Nihari joint, exactly. right? This Nihari joint called Kala Khan Nihari is one of the most famous breakfast places in Rawalpindi. Even people from Islamabad and around the city come here to have their breakfast. Oh, oh and this is it. The Nihari. Mazadar. Mazadar. <laughs> this looks fantastic. We've got this big bowl of beef stock and wheat flour, right? Exactly. Oh, and you can see they're just topping it there. We're just topping it with the oh beef and ghee and chunks of that fatty looking beef. Bye. Can we get egg bowl beja? <laughs> and egg bowl beef, please. That was Is that, right? that was very local too. <laughs> Even I wouldn't. I, I would have to think twice to come up with this from Beja. Wow! <laughs> and this is our Beja. Beja. Oh, masala. Lots of masala. Lots yeah. of masala, and we're gonna mix it with the beef. Yeah. Awesome. Food in Pakistan is out of this world. Oh, we got the Beja and beef combo, and then there's the stock, the ghee. Full flavor. And here it is, look at that. That is the ultimate brain and beja beef nihari. nihari combo. And this is it, the brain and beef nihari. And guys, we are so possessive about our nihari, we are bringing it to table ourselves. <laughs> yeah. High five, buddy. We have got two versions. One is the basic and the other one is gold. Oh, the gold, the diamond. This is goat brain. Goat brain, and you can just scoop it out with that sesame, that toasted sesame naan. Oh, and that, there it is. You don't have much time, oh. it will just melt. <laughs> it just melts it in your just... naan. Mmm. Oh, it almost tastes like cinnamon. Indeed. It's like a cinnamon beef stew. And you really need to top Top this with all these spices. Oh. The green chili, the ginger, and lemon. The fresh. That really gives it its ultimate taste. And before moving on to the ultimate camel street milk bar near Islamabad, Ali's bringing us to another extremely delicious street breakfast the upgraded Chennai. So the next place is just right across. We didn't even have to move five feet and Here's the next place. Oh. Special Koi Wale Mutton Chanis. What it is, basically chickpea stew with mutton inside. And the best part is the Koya, which is the condensed, highly condensed milk. Wow, so it's like an upgraded chenna. Exactly, way upgraded. Right here. It's the business class chenna. <laughs> and that's it there. That is just thick and deep, full of chenna. Oh, and that's chicken bone, right? That's a chicken bone, chicken oh, leg. Chicken leg. And you can also get it with lamb as well, right? You get, you, goat. Goat. Goat joint. Oh, full of spice. You can smell the chili and the masala and the ghee. And we're going to get up a big I believe bowl. there's so many treasures hidden under this ocean of uh, chickpeas. <laughs> so let's find, let's dig, let's jump in and find some more maybe. <laughs> treasure. That is a sloppy heaven right there. Oh, and here we go. This is it. Oh. 
and tons of ghee. Mixing it up. You can smell all that masala. Oh, and he just throws a bone in there. <laughs> There's a bone in there. It's like a pool with a hidden bone. Wow. The lamb piece. The lamb piece. Yeah. And it's just going to cover it in oil, in ghee. Look at that. Wow, those are the goat meatballs. Yeah. Amazing. Our friend over here is telling us that in one day he makes around six to seven thousand naans. Six thousand so Look at the scale. It's huge. And this is all for that special chickpea stew there. Exactly, all for that. Oh, wow. And we're just pulling them one by one here. That smells fantastic. That's the ultimate naan right there. Covered in oil and sesame. Real, real aromatic, the milkiness. And we're gonna dip that into the chenna. Let's, Let's go it. try it out. Oh, and here it is. The ultimate chenna. Ultimate chenna. That is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, this is a lamb joint. But the best part about this chickpea stew is that you have condensed milk called koya, which is very popular in the indo pak subcontinent. You have koya in it inside, which wow. makes it even more rich. And just look at that meat falling off the bone. Just break a bit of that naan. Wow! Look at that meat in the naan. Oh my god. <laughs> my bite looks so modest in front of you. <laughs> that is caveman <laughs> satisfaction. Cheers, buddy. Cheers to the chanas. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. That is full on heavy, heavy chenna. Spicy. Almost tastes like there's some, just a slight pickliness in there, like a, a sourness, maybe from the chili. Oh, it's really, really nice and smooth and very heavy as well from all that ghee they put in there. And you can just cover that meat in the chenna. This is very unique. This is very business unique. class. It's one of its own kind. Wow. And next up, Ali is bringing us for a little camel milk bar surprise on the side of the street on our way to Islamabad. Wait, 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 wait. there's something really exciting oh. for you over there. <laughs> We Look have to try this. This guy, you are the lucky man, Triv. Oh, Look a camel. Yeah, exactly. Not just a camel. Yep. There's, some, there's, something, camel. there's something more to it, trust me. You That's a giant. You have your whole milk factory, right? <laughs> On the side of the road. On the side of the road, yeah. So camel milk is a delicacy in Pakistan. It's very healthy. Really? It's, it's full of nutrition. But Chip, this side is very rare. It's not very common. Oh, this is, This is, in fact, a delicacy. See you. Wow, look at that guys. We got a big camel here. She's gonna make you drink directly from it. No right in your mouth. <laughs> right in your mouth. No it's way. going to be gold. Trust me, it's very safe. It's, Is it? as, it's as pure as it can get. Come on, okay. man. Right in your mouth. So we're gonna drink it right from the, the nipple? Yeah, right from, they, they were squirted in Is your mouth. Is that a delicacy? Tasty? Mazadar. Mazadar. Oh, we're gonna get the local camel specialty. He doesn't look so happy. On this right camel. On the side. Is he safe? Oh, listen to that. Oh, and there's one more coming. Huh. Oh, and the milk is coming out. So we can drink this. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that is something. Look at all that milk coming out. That just, that looks real creamy. Wow. So Trey, we're gonna make you drink the f most Freshest milk <laughs> using all the superlatives. Right the most here. Fresh, no, no, not right from there. Right from there. Right from the nipple. <laughs> right from the nipple. Here we go, guys. How do I do? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. How do we? She's gonna, she's gonna squirt the milk right in your mouth. Oh wow! <laughs> Is it good? It's really sweet. It's sweet and cold. Number one. Sweet and cold. Yeah. 
<laughs> Should we do? Yeah, yeah. No problem. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, I got. Oh, I got sprayed. <laughs> It's a sweet, a little salty, mm. <laughs> and very creamy, right from the nipple. So this is a local specialty. This is a local delicacy. It's very rare. Even for me to have uh, the camel right on the road, it's a very rare sight. Very rare sight. And this is a, if you're if you're driving down the street here and you need a fresh batch of camel milk, you can just stop and get it. Is that the deal? But you have to be really lucky like Triv to get this. Wow. Yeah. It's sweet, yeah. a little salty, very milky and creamy. Yeah. Actually, that would be very good in a coffee or a exactly, tea. Exactly. That's like an upgraded milk. So, so mostly people just uh, take it and uh, take it home oh. for their coffee and for all the desserts mm. and everything. Actually, I was expecting to not enjoy it, but after tasting it, it's really nice. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. Very nice. Thank you, Shukriya. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. That was that was so unique. Bye bye. And to finish off the tour, Ali's bringing us to Islamabad for two awesome meals. Starting up first with some gourmet curry and a huge meat platter overlooking Islamabad. Uh, we are we are at Munal. This but the real it. magic is not here. The real magic is towards the right. Awesome. The view. The, the view. Beautiful. This is amazing. We just drove up some beautiful scenery through the mountains outside of Islamabad and we're here to feast. I think you're not going to have the battery view of wow. Islamabad in this view. Look at that. That is beautiful. Just look at that view. I told you, you're going to be having wow. the best view. Look at that. Green, modern, clean, bustling, and some of the best food. Wow. How about I say this place looks like Machu Picchu? Machu Picchu. <laughs> you see these fields? Wow. They look like Machu Picchu. Yeah. No offense to Machu Picchu though. <laughs> yeah. That's unreal. Thank you. Wow. There is a lot of food here today. So here we have a triple curry combo. <laughs> uh, which begins with chicken ginger. Chicken ginger, oh wow. Look at that, you can actually see the fresh raw ginger slices in there. Exactly. And the chili. And the smells coming from all three of these exactly. is so potent. And here we have the chicken makhni, which is the chicken curry infused with butter and cream. Mm, that looks unreal. <laughs> Look at how creamy that is. And then this looks it's heavier. Boneless mutton. Boneless mutton. Wow, let's just go right in. This is the finest collection from Monal's menu. We have the mixed barbecue platter. Oh, wow, look at that. Are these mutton? These are chicken kebabs. Chicken kebabs with coriander. And you can actually see the seeds in there. What I love so much about Pakistan so far is the variety of cuisine <laughs> and the pure abundance of meat that you can have here. Chicken and then, oh, cheesy. What are these? Cheesy chicken kebabs. Cheesy chicken boti. Cheesy chicken boti here. And then mutton. This is also chicken. Oh wow. So this is all chicken. This is all chicken platter. To me, this looks unreal how creamy it is. Oh man. Here buddy, take some of that. Sure. Look at that, you can see tomatoes in there. So creamy. And that is gonna go so well with naan. Oh and then the chicken ginger, thank you. Look at the three colors of curry there, right on the plate. Chicken, chicken and mutton. Coriander, you can smell all the masalas, all the spices, and the cream. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Oh, that is, that is really creamy. It's so rich and so flavorful. Wow. And it's very light and super creamy and tender. In Urdu, butter is called makhan. So this one is it's butter just like chicken. a butter chicken. Yeah. It is butter chicken. That is so buttery. So creamy. The naan is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's like the 
top of the line. But it's nice. But it's very nice. Yeah. And it makes up for it with the view. And after finishing up the dinner with that delicious yet potent and smooth ginger chicken curry, we drove back down into Islamabad for one more stop. A full-on Afghani restaurant specializing in Afghani kebabs and Central Asian dumplings. So Trayv, this is going to be the most epic ending of our food tour in Islamabad. One of the most well-known places, the Kabul restaurant, ultimate Afghan barbecue. Afghan barbecue right here. Oh, and it's all run by local Afghan people. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. It's very native, it's very authentic. Oh, wow. Just look at those. Wow. Assalamu alaikum. Wow. Look at this, guys. This is all lamb. No, beef. Beef? Oh, beef and lamb. Beef and chicken. Oh, you can just feel the aroma, like it's all in the air. <laughs> so the moment we were walking in, yeah. you can feel it right even outside on the road. And I love how he's just fanning the flame. Exactly. Oh, wow. Oh, and the kebabs. The reason we came here. Here's the main oh, dish. Oh, the ultimate Afghani kebabs. Wow, this smells fantastic. Thank you. Oh wow, there's so much here. So this is the karahi. This is the kebab karahi. Kebab. So they put kebab inside and make it in the karahi style. Oh wow, so it's tomato based with chili and garlic exactly. and ghee, right? Exactly. We ordered a massive table full of delicious Afghani food. Like delicious and juicy Afghani kebabs with tomato, Afghani style eggplant with cream that tasted a little bit like moussaka, Kabuli pulao rice with raisins and carrots, and some incredibly plump mantu minced beef and onion dumplings. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Wow, with just a little salt, that is surprisingly very flavorful. Mm. And here is the mantu. Mantu. Oh. Afghan mantu. Afghan dumplings. Look at those. Stuffed with beef and onion. Oh, those are plump. Mmm! Really nice. Oh, wow. Those are just fantastic dumplings. Completely stuffed with soft beef and onion. And they just explode in your mouth. With that yogurt, oh, slightly sour. And the tomato, it's like there's a salsa on top. Whatever it is, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. What an awesome day that was. Thank you, Ali. You guys gotta check out Ali's Instagram in the description below. Islamabad has been amazing and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I really hope you liked Islamabad because you know, for me, Islamabad is a special place in my heart. It's my own home city. Amazing. Thanks, guys. Thank you.